Ah, Beatles gear. Prices go for crazy, crazy, crazy amounts online. And thankfully, thanks to Access Analog and F Read Shipping. These are actual Altex that have been actually modified to the actual circuit. We are able to finally have access to a real vintage Abbey Road style compressor in the box. For anybody who doesn't know anything about how these compressors were modded. I'll leave a link in the description to the video of the RS124 shootout where I go through all of the history, all of the lovely geeky history. So first off, let's hear what this thing sounds like on a bass guitar hitting about 10 to 12 dB of gain reduction. Let's hear how this thing sounds. <laughs> Right, okay, so that was bass. Let's hear how this thing sounds on vocals. Just listen to how colourful and how level the vocal is using the hardware Altec. Oh, I'm going far away. It's always good to get away. Oh, I'm going far away. It's always good to get away. Far away, it's always good to get away. Oh, I'm going far away, it's always good to get away. Now, a lot of you guys will be wondering, how does this compare to the plugins? Now, the only RS124 plugin that I have left is the Acoustica Audio Cream 2. They stated in the manual that they sampled a very new American 60 style compressor. And even if you go online, everything points to an RS124 or a original Altec compressor. But before I go into the audio examples, I must tell you, before you listen to these examples, that there are massive, massive differences. The linear frequency response looks kind of similar-ish in the high end, but you can see there's a massive kind of low boost in the hardware. Whether that is possibly the linear test of Berton being broken by the non-linearities of the hardware compressor, I cannot say for sure, but this is all I have to go on. And in terms of the harmonics, for some reason, the Acoustica Audio Cream 2 does not have anywhere near the harmonic content of the hardware. That's at 1K. Now let's have a look at an actual sweep, going from 20K all the way to 20 kilohertz. And as you can see, this hardware compressor really is an absolute color box. Just look at the amount of harmonics that this thing adds. Yes, there, there is a noisy little bugger as well, but it is full and rich of harmonics. And compare that to Acoustica Audio Cream 2, at the input at its default setting, there's hardly any harmonics, which rings true to what we've seen in the 1K tone. Move the input to plus six, 
the exact same behaviour but just a little bit more harmonics and then max out the input of the acoustical audio cream too and it's the exact same it's just that the harmonics are a little bit more prominent but still nowhere near the hardware Altec and also what you'll see <laughs> which is plainly obvious there are a lot of artifacts in this plugin whatever Acoustica did sampling uh, the Altec something went wrong I'm not an expert in this I only have a very kind of like limited knowledge in terms of like convolution artifacts but this across here I take a guess that's possibly chirping as you can see there is aliasing coming from the harmonics and you've also got these kind of artifacts on the right I don't know whether that is truncation or possibly echoes I just don't know what this is and I don't know what that is either it's, it just shouldn't be there these are definitely 100% convolution artifacts and just to prove what we are seeing is correct let's go to audio examples on the vocal the acoustical audio cream doing around the exact same compression around 15 db max of compression exact same settings as the hardware compressor you'll know what i mean when you listen to it i'm going far away oh i'm going far it's always good to get away I'm going far away Oh, I'm going far away It's always good to get away I'm going far And there you have it, nothing close whatsoever. When I tried out the other RS124 plugins in that shootout last year, they were all incredibly close. It was actually quite difficult to tell the difference in the blind tests, which tell me that there isn't really an RS124 plugin that can do the sound of this specific Altec. I think this thing sounds absolutely awesome. However, it will not work on everything. This amount of colour will only work on certain sources and in certain mixes. In my opinion, if you were to use this hardware compressor on a vocal, it's probably like all the saturation and all the colour that you would need. I wouldn't be adding any more colour to this vocal. But in this specific song, I think it really does add a bit of depth. It kind of glues the vocal into the mix. And in my opinion, it adds this really nice richness to this female vocal which is a little bit on the thin side and it just so happened that this style and colour of compression works quite well on this specific vocal. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, remember to like the video before you leave and consider subscribing in case you've not subscribed already. My name is Paul Third, have a good one and I'll see you next week.